you entered the Department of Education during the time of VP Sara Duterte. You confirm that? That's correct, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Can Chair. you please enlighten us? Ano pong appointment ang nabigay sa inyo during your time in DepEd? Uh, first, ma'am, I was uh, uh, appointed as uh, or recruited as a uh, consultant of uh, Department of Education from April. Can you please expound? Consultant on what matter? Uh, I was... Uh, uh, highly technic co technical consultant uh, because I came from the armed forces and uh, uh, our uh, former secretary and uh, vice president uh, consider me as an asset in uh, uh, collaboration or engaging the uh, security sector. And you believe, General Mempin, that it was your career in the AFP? which was considered by then Secretary of DepEd why you were hired as the highly technical consultant. That's correct, uh, Your Honor. If you can still recall, General Mempin, ano po ba ang trabaho ng isang highly technical consultant as you were made to understand during your, that stint in the Department of Education? Uh, when you... Uh, become a highly consultant, meaning the uh, unit or the agency could not have it on its own uh, personnel. That's why they could uh, uh, engage or hire the services of a uh, consultant, ma'am. For the information of the Filipino people, General Mempin, please allow me to share the functions which were under your position as highly technical consultant. One, provide high-level policy advice on topics agenda that are confidential in nature. Two, provide guidance, technical oversight, and expert advice to DepEd in the development of various programs in all levels of governance on safety and security. Three, engage and collaborate with other departments and security-related services. Four, submit monthly status to OSEC. And five, perform other duties related thereto. Would you agree with me, General Memphine, that as highly technical consultant, your mandate is to make sure that the need to promote and ensure safety and security is well addressed? That's uh, correct, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. You confirm that? Yes. And having confirmed that, tama po bang isipin, you are the one in charge also of the confidential funds of the Department of Education? Uh, that's not uh, correct, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Then, General Memphin, if you're not the one in charge of this confidential fund, then who is or who was? I was not uh, aware of because uh, I only more on, because after uh, April, May, uh, when uh, USEC for administration is open, uh, I was uh, again asked if uh, I could, but uh, I'm not, part of the utilization or how the confidential part But you is, agree with me, General Memphin, lahat ng trabaho na ibinigay sa inyo, hindi nyo ito kayang isagawa without the necessary funding. And the funding that is allowed for these purposes is of course the confidential fund. Do you agree with me? Uh, that's correct, uh, your Honor, Mr. Chair, but uh, I have not uh, received any instructions and also uh, funds, for that matter, on uh, in the performance or in the uh, accomplishment of uh, task given or mandate to me as the uh, consultant. Uh, Your in Honor, other words, Mr. General Memphin, while your job description as highly technical consultant pertains to safety and security. You have no access to confidential fund and you did not give any instruction
from the head of the agency. That is your statement. Do you confirm that? Uh, yes, uh, Your Honor. I am, I am not uh, part of uh, Thank the you. utilization. Thank you. Let us move confidence. forward, General Memphine. Kanina may na-mention po kayo. After some time, you were appointed as the USEC for administration. Did you apply for this position? Uh, no, ma'am. I was uh, recruited by the former secretary and vice president. Oh. Balikan ko po yung highly technical consultant. Of course, you expressed your desire because a notice of award was given to you to be the highly technical consultant. Aside from you, General Memphine, meron pa po bang iba na nag-express ng desire to be engaged as the highly technical consultant? Uh, I'm not uh, particularly aware of uh, other consultant that express their willingness, but uh, I do believe there are uh, other uh, consultant that uh, the Office of the Secretary has uh, tapped. I understand. How about with respect to your appointment as USEC for administration? You said you were chosen. You confirmed that? Uh, I was uh, recruited, yes, ma'am. You were recruited. Who recruited you to become the Undersecretary for Administration? The former Secretary and Vice President, uh, Sarah, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. And would you know why? Bakit ikaw ang napusuan na bigyan at pagkalooban nitong pagiging Undersecretary for Administration ng Department of Education? As to the uh, reason, the actual reason behind it, I was not aware, but uh, I can surmise the trust and confidence that uh, she has on me. That uh, is maybe correct. Maybe the, the reason, ma'am. The trust and confidence that you were able to establish as head of Task Force Davao in 2017 and being the the one in charge of the 10th Infantry Division in Regions 11, 12, and 13 were very significant, not only in your engagement as highly technical consultant, but in your appointment as well as Undersecretary for Administration of DepEd. We agree on that, General Memphin. Yes, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. As a matter of fact, to illustrate how the former secretary trusted you, may I ask, are you aware of Department Order Number 78, General Mempin? Yes, ma'am. What is Department Order Number 78? It's about uh, the uh, procurement, ma'am. With all due respect, dito po sa Department Number 78, ibinibigay po ang mandato na pamunuan ang Department Computerization Program hmm? sa Program Director. You confirm this? Yes, I stand corrected. So about In other uh, words, since 2010, General Memphine, ang, com ang Department Computerization Program ay pinamumunuan ng Program Director. Ito po ang nakasaad sa Department Order Number 78. But because the former secretary trusted you so much on this position of being the Undersecretary for Administration, the DepEd issued DO Number 16, Series of 2023. Would you like to enlighten us kung ano po itong DO 16, Series of 2023? Uh, actually, it's the revision of... Uh Department of Order uh, 78, ma'am, Series 2020-10. Uh, it's uh, actually revising uh, the compositions of uh, the those for the procurement. To be specific, of, General Memphine, with all due respect, ano ho ang pinaka-significant na naging pagbabago in terms of the DepEd computerization program from DO 78 to DO-16? It's not only the uh, director who decides for the uh, computer, uh, procurement of uh, department computerization program. For the information of the committee, General Memphine, 
it is clear that from DO number 16, the management of the department's computerization program was transferred from the program director to the undersecretary for administration, and that is you, General Memphine. That is how the former secretary trusted you, a policy which has long been existing for 13 long years, 2010, was suddenly changed, transferring the management of DepEd computerization program from the program director to the office of the undersecretary for administration. Do you agree with me? Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma can I uh, elaborate, Mr. Chair? Yes, please. Uh, please actually, b b before uh, the computerization program is, uh, because actually we notice uh, uh, some issues in the DCP, pro DCP procurement, particularly in terms of uh, the members. So, because uh, there's a huge amount of money involved in the DepEd computerization program, so it was agreed through the executive uh, uh, committee uh, as a collegial body to elevate the authority of uh, deciding the DepEd computerization program from program director to, uh, but uh, basically the program director is uh, actively involved in the uh, decision making. I understand General Mempi. Now let us go to the DepEd computerization program. Per fiscal year 2023, mayroon po kayong report ang sabi nyo the delay and underperformance in procuring the ICT packages for 2023 were mainly due to the reconfiguration of the original specification and modifications of the package contents. You agree with this? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh because this is in your report. But I wish to ask General Mempin, how come in your physical target versus accomplishment, kindly show on the screen, ito pong fiscal year 2023, this is your time, as the one heading the DepEd computerization program, simultaneous with you being the Undersecretary for Administration, Zero percent po ang accomplishment ng DepEd computerization program. Can you please enlighten us on this? Act <clears throat> uh, actually, ma'am, uh, nandito po yung uh, director ng uh, ICTS, but uh, to, to give you insight on uh, the performance, because ma'am, uh, when we arrived in DepEd 2023, actually, it's still the 2022 uh, DCP programs uh, being processed because of the delay during the 2022 because of the change of uh, the uh, administration. So actually, ma'am, uh, late uh, uh, 2023 na po na process completely yung May we uh, know why, DCP. General Memphine? Of course, we understand from the records na yung 2023 budget, hindi nyo po na utilize, and that is the reason kung bakit naka 0% ang accomplishment rate. May we know the reason why? Uh, because of uh, the, partly of uh, the procurement process because uh, it has to go to the uh, Bids and Awards Committee and uh, the members of the Bids and Awards Committee is uh, still uh, pull uh, Hands in pull in terms of the uh, DCP. But of course, 2020. you realize, General Memphine, the value of this DepEd computerization program with respect to the learning of the students who are supposedly relying on this. Tama po ba? That's uh, correct, Your Honor, Mr. And to Chair. complete the picture, General Memphine, I wish to share to the committee, mayroon po kayong na procure. 44,638 ICT packages and DepEd packages sa taong 2022 and 2023 
Ngunit ayon sa annual audit report ng COA, ang na-deliver nyo lang is 16,580. This is not even one half of what is supposed to be delivered. So to make it clear, General Memphine, na kapag procure po kayo ng 44,638 ICT packages, but per report of COA, ang delivered pa lang is 16,580, equivalent to 37% of the supposed accomplishment. Can you please explain this? Uh, Ma'am, uh, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, if I uh, may uh, request the uh, uh, director of uh, ICTS because uh, uh, I, I was not already out of uh, Uh, DepEd since uh, July, so I'm not aware of the updates in terms of uh, deliveries with regards so that uh, maybe General we Memphis, could have a good respect, picture. General with all respect, the procurement happened in 2023. Yes, ma'am. Ibig ma sabihin, nabili na po ito. 44,638 ICT packages. You were still with DepEd. Yes, ma'am. Uh, only last July 2024. Tama yes, po ba? From your perspective as Under Secretary for Administration and the one heading the DepEd Computerization Program, ano po ba naging appreciation nyo dito? Anong naging dahilan? Why you were way below the supposed accomplishment when in fact, ang dami nyo naman palang nabili. Or, if I may rephrase the question, nasan po yung nawawalang ICT packages? Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, uh, uh, po, during the 2023, uh, only the DCP, 2022, DCP 2022 was processed, uh, procured, and only started the uh, Uh, delivering in late uh, 2023 and uh, actually only in, the first in three in both dates that you mentioned general memphine you're very much connected still with the department of education yes yes ma'am uh, so i'm explaining that uh, during the 2023 ma'am the dcp 2022 is uh, uh, prioritized so it's only being uh, deliberated or process in the procurement and late of uh, October that's only there are only or there were only three lots of DCP which were uh, successfully bidded out and uh, 13 General was Benfield, processed in 20 if I may interrupt let's simplify the question the 44,638 ICT packages were procured during that time only 16,000 were delivered Nasaan po yung iba? Ma'am, uh, because you, the 13, the three lots supposedly delivered during December and early January of uh, 2024 uh, were uh, subject to uh, request for extension of some of the supplier which we were not uh, Mr. Chair, convinced. I lament that General Mampin cannot, could not give a clear and complete account of this 44,638. And I still have a lot of questions to raise. So may I just uh, request General Mampin to please submit a written accounting of this 44,638 ICT packages with respect to their current whereabouts. Simply lang po ang question, General Mampin. Nasaan yung 44,000 minus 16,000 na ICT packages? Moving forward, Mr. Chair. General Mamfin, I wish to raise questions about the DepEd confidential funds. There is such an AOM number 2024-15. This is dated February 1, 2024. Out of the 150 million confidential funds that were given to DepEd, only three quarters were utilized. That is equivalent to 112.5 million. Are you aware of this, General Memphine? 
Uh, I just made aware during the uh, hearing about the uh, confidential fund because I was not uh, directly involved in the... Okay, but at least you can confirm that in the Journals Appropriation Act of 2023, DepEd has 150 million budget for confidential fund. You're aware of that? Uh, yes, ma'am, as member of the Exico. And out of 150 million budget for confidential fund, only the first, the second, and the third quarter were utilized. That is equivalent to 112.5 million confidential fund. You're aware of that? I, must, uh, I was made aware of that, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. And sometime in February 2024, nag issue po si COA ng audit observation memo. Ang sabi po dito, there is such as 75 million 